welcome my name is Sade and today we're going to the thrift store because I've lost a lot more weight and none of my clothes fit me anymore I'm currently doing a 72 hour fast but I'm stopping today at around about 60 hours because I am actually uh, feeling a little bit shaky so I know that I need to eat something now but I have done the reset that I intended to do because I had been craving really badly before my period um, I was eating enough fat but obviously it wasn't working I think the cream cheese eating the cream cheese really messed me up so I'm gonna definitely be staying away from dairy from now on and just doing the beef salt and water that I was doing and occasionally uh, fish and whatever else from the animal kingdom that I decided to eat so today we're gonna be buying some some things at the thrift store and then also doing a what we eat in a day so I'll be back when we're at the thrift store. Hi. Go on. Hi. <laughs> so we're just walking to the thrift store. Beautiful view. I didn't realize how hot it was today. It's the hottest it's been in a while. Yeah. I was getting kind of jealous because London's getting a heat wave. And Mexico hasn't been that hot. Well, where I am in Mexico hasn't been that hot. Yeah. It's so hot today, guys. Yeah. I'm so surprised I found it, guys. We only saw it one time when we was going through the market that they have on Sundays. And I found it again without the market. We're close. I just have to turn somewhere. Okay, maybe not. Oh, yeah, found it. Here we are. Cruz Roja Thrift Store. I hope I said that right. <laughs> Got this beauty. Hey guys, so we're back from the thrift. I got a bunch of stuff for like $7, $8. So I'm gonna try this on and then we're gonna go and cook. So here's everything I got. I didn't get as much as I wanted to because Gohan started crying. So I got a pair of sandals. I'm gonna try all of this on now and see how it looks because I don't have the best track record in dressing. <laughs> now I'm gonna try on everything that I bought at the thrift shop. <laughs> So the first thing I'm going to try on is these shorts. They don't have a changing room in there, so I wasn't able to try anything on in there. So I'll be back with the first outfit. So this was a an okay fit. I haven't figured out how I'm supposed to properly wear this top, but I like it. I started watching some things on YouTube about how to dress these wide shoulders. Carnival body. I'm so proud of this new body. 
<laughs> so yeah, this is the first. Um, I only got one pair of bottoms because Gohan started crying by the time I got to these. So these are going to be in the video throughout the whole thing. But I do like this. This is nice. So I kept it simple with this one. I love, I've always loved, I don't know why, I've always loved just vests, vest tops. It needs ironing, but it is nice. I like it. Especially for the weather, the way the weather's turning, changing now. Yeah, lovely. I brought this bra as well. It doesn't quite fit. I don't know what size I am anymore. But um, it feels much more comfortable than the bras that I had. So, yeah. The worst thing about carnival, guys, is needing a whole new wardrobe. But I like this a lot. It's very comfortable. Just, I like comfort. I prefer comfort over everything else. So, this is nice. I'm very happy with this one. I almost didn't buy it, but I'm glad that I did. <laughs> I got another vest top. This one actually smells really good. Oh, I'm not sure how to put this one on. Oh, I forgot it was like this. Okay. Um, so I'll do that right? Did I do that right? Um... I think it, yeah. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, nice. I had no, That's when I picked cute. it up and I looked at it, I had no idea it was, oh, this is amazing. I love this. Definitely the whole shoulder vibe mm -hmm. thing I was going for. Uh, uh, oh, this is lovely. Uh, and with the shorts, uh, look at me starting to know how to dress. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, guys, I never pick out things that look good on me. I've had to go and like research, okay, what fits a square kind of body with a, the wide shoulders? Because as you can see, my shoulders are wider than my hips and my, I just, I'm straight and muscular. I've always been this way. So I never really knew how to dress myself. So this is really nice. Nice. Let's go on. Oh, I like this. This is going to be like my new favorite. My new favorite top. <laughs> so I bought this skirt, but I don't really know what I'd wear to go with it. I don't know what I'd wear to go with it, but I really like the look of it. It's got pockets, a skirt with pockets, which is cool. Um, yeah, but I don't know what I'd put on. But I did buy this, so I'm going to see if this goes with it. Hopefully it does. I didn't buy them together intentionally. But let's... Does this even fit? Or is it too small? Mommy! Ow! Oh! I think it's too small. Wait. Oh. I mean... It could, it can work. <laughs> Ow. Ow. I'm not gonna be able to get this off. Yeah. See, this is the issue. I have a heavy top, a heavy top half, guys. And so when I buy clothes and I'm buying things that are like small at the bottom, I forget that the top isn't as, you know, it isn't as small, but, um, I mean, I don't know if, I don't think the dress and this go together, but, um, maybe I can make it go. Can I make it go together? Look at me turning into a little stylist, okay. <laughs> I'm gas, guys. Um, yeah, I like this. This is nice. This is cool. Wow, I can't believe it. Carnivore has changed my brain. I could never pick things that really look good on me. My husband hates that fact. He hates the fact that I can't dress. So I'm really now trying to make an effort to, you know, dress. This black thing is really cool. 
is really super tight though. Uh, oh, nice. I like it. So today in the thrift store, the lady actually said to me, she came over to me, she walked over to me, she said, why are you shopping in this section? I was like, what do you mean? She's like, this is the bigger section. And she saw my waist, my waist is tiny. And she was like, yeah, no. And that's never happened to me before. That's something that's never happened to me before. I used to have to shop in the chubby section. So I always shopped in the chubby section. And even now I forget that I've lost a lot of weight. And as I was going through the thrift store today, most of the things there don't actually fit me because they're too big. That's never happened to me before. This is such a crazy change. And I didn't even want, well, I've always wanted to lose weight, of course, but my plan wasn't to lose weight on Carnival. It was to fix my mental health. And now I've got the side effect of um, Carnival, which is the weight loss. Well, a good side effect is the weight loss. It's really strange living in this new world of slim. <laughs> But having someone actually come up to me in a shop and say, you're too small for this section, darling. She's an American lady as well. She's lo really lovely. Um, the whole shop was run by American women, actually, which was quite cool because everybody spoke English. But yeah, um, being told to move to the smallest section of the store, win, guys. It's the win. My carnival body, I'm going to keep showing it off. Look at her muscles. I don't work out, guys. I don't. <laughs> So having this is just <sighs> meat, man, meat. Anyway, does this look good? I don't know. I think it looks good. Let's wait till my husband gets home and see, does this look good? But they're even exactly the same color. I think today was just pure luck, either pure luck or something in my brain has changed where it's like, oh, I know now to how to fit things together. Or maybe because I'm slimmer and I'm more confident, I now know how to put things together. Either way, I'll be back with the next one. <laughs> so my next one is a dress. And guys, I don't usually wear dresses. So if Carnival has got my body feeling good enough to wear a dress, that's going to be a miracle. So this is my next one. And my last one is a dress. And luckily, the bra that I bought fits so um i don't have to worry about having a strapless bra which is like near enough impossible for my breasts so yeah i'll be back in a sec Okay, um, I don't know, I don't think so, I still don't think I'm a dress kind of girl, maybe it, maybe it looks nice, I was a tomboy when I was young, so Dresses were never really my thing. My mom, I think she used to dress me up as a, a boy too. But of all the times I've tried on dresses, this one is like the least cringe, actually. But I can rock this, I think. What do you guys think? I like it, kind of. Um, and I got some sandals that will probably go with it too. Yeah, this is nice. A nice surprise. Make sure my muscles eat in. Ooh. <laughs> I used to watch carnivals all the time, the women specifically that used to just grow muscles. And I thought, oh yeah, that must take a lot of gym work and stuff. And now I look at all the carnival women with muscles and I'm like, yeah, nah. That's definitely uh, all the meat and the protein, the protein and the fat doing something there. Cause the amount of times I've tried to get arms like this and eat in carbs, it doesn't work. And I always hated my arms because they were so fat. But um, 
yeah i don't know what do you guys think i'm so i'm glad i got it because i can now look girly when i go outside i don't always have to look like a tomboy so yeah that's the um that's it guys i think i have one more thing to try on but i'm not gonna do it on on youtube it's a it's a bra <clears throat> and i'm hoping it fits because i really have run out of bras and it's just effort going to get um, measured and finding bras. I've always hated bra shopping. But yeah, thank you for if you got this far, guys, in my shenanigans today, buying clothes. I'm definitely gonna go and buy a lot more. This, everything today, literally only costs 160 pesos. 100 pesos is $5. So 160 pesos. 160 pesos will be around eight dollars i paid eight dollars for everything that i tried on today it's a steal guys it's a steal so eight dollars for all these clothes Mommy. and i honestly don't have any clothes because i've neglected myself for so long due to depression depression and anxiety i didn't neglected myself for so 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 long and um, I'm only now starting to feel like somebody new, not like myself, because myself was always depressed. And I always used to cover myself up in tracksuits, you know, um, I don't know what you guys call it, sweat pants and sweaters. But yeah, I just used to really cover my body, didn't really want to look attractive, didn't want to be catcalled on the road. I still don't want to be, by the way. Um, but I de didn't really put any effort into looking good. Um, because I just didn't care enough. And now I've started to care, I'm starting to take care of myself, I'm starting to groom myself more, even though it doesn't look like it. I'm taking it out, I'm annoyed, I'm just taking it out at the moment, but yeah. Um, I know this wasn't really carnival related, but it is because this is a new body, guys, it's a new body. And all these clothes that are fitting me would never have fit me in the past. So here is an advantage of carnival. <laughs> so yeah. I'll see you guys with me and Gohan's nails in a little bit. Gohan's just woken up from his nap. We're gonna go make him some food. Some food. Some food. Some food. <laughs> so it's around lunchtime, 12. And we're making some short ribs for Gohan, some eggs and some cheese. I finally broke my fast. I can't do it anymore. I feel um, a bit shaky and I don't feel good. I only fast until I don't feel good anymore and then I eat again. So yeah, short ribs for me and Gohan, cheese and egg and short ribs.
Gohan's food is done, I salted it with sea salt. Yum, yum. And I'm cooking the rest of my short ribs. I don't give Gohan the short rib to eat by himself if I'm eating too because he'll tend to bite this off and I get really scared because, you know, it's freaking bone. So, yeah. So this is my lunch, guys. This is my meal, guys. I'm going to eat in silence with Gohan. Yum yum. This is our first meal. <laughs> I still do the salt thing. I haven't let that go yet. There's something about fresh salt. Oh man. Short rib. It's so good. Mm. And they've been in the fridge for a while. But they are so good. <laughs> hmm. See you in the next meal, guys. Say bye. Bye. So, my second meal of the day and my last meal of the day is ground beef. That's it. So, I had short ribs for lunch and ground beef for dinner. I'm still doing beef, salt, and water, and I'm going to be doing it for the, until further notice because. My body obviously can't handle anything else appropriately. Not eggs, not shrimp, not cream cheese, not cheese, not milk, no nothing. So this is my safe space. I'm gonna be here for a while. You know, we lived on a sad diet for our whole lives. I think I'm gonna survive on beef only for a while, for as long as it takes. See, it didn't make no sense. It didn't make no sense when the food, when the meat didn't taste right. It started to taste disgusting. And now I know it's because my period was coming 
the cravings were wild. Um, I had the um, cream cheese, so it was just a wild, a wild couple of weeks because of one incident, one slip up, one um, moment in me trying to just be a relaxed carnivore. I know better now. <laughs> This shit tastes too good to just be trying to mess it up with other shit. Mind my language. There's no need for it. That nice one. Yeah. Yeah. Although this is my last meal for the day, Gohan's definitely probably going to eat again. So I'm going to record whatever, whatever he eats outside. Oh man, 48% alcohol. It has no burn, it's its own chaser. There's one for you. He say no burn and it's his own chaser. This guy is some serious oh stuff, my brother. One for you and one for her. No, thank you. Are you sure? Yeah, yes. Don't <laughs> I don't drink, no. Ooh, that shit's not bad. He's trying to eat God's finger. <laughs> he trying to eat your finger? 